what's good everyone today i'm going to be showing you how to sample on soundtrack for free so what i started off by doing first is finding a loop from the soundtrack search bar this is what it originally sounded like and to sample what i'm going to be doing is chopping up different parts of the melody and using only those parts so what i did was i found all the parts where the piano played a chord and then I use those for the sample. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make the first chord three beats long, and then the second chord come in on the fourth beat of the first measure. Then I'm gonna make the third chord come in on the first beat of the third measure, and then once again on the fourth beat, bring in the other chord. And then for this last chord, I put it on the second beat of the fourth measure. Uh, additionally to the sample, I added parts of the piano that weren't for, uh, that weren't the chords. Okay, now that you know how I made the sample, I'm going to be adding in one-shot sounds for the drums. How I found my snare is I searched up one-shots, searched up rap snare, and then I found the aqua snare. And then I put that on the third beat of every measure. For the hi-hats. Um, what I did basically is I made the hi-hats lead into the snare. So, uh, yeah, so when the hi-hats don't play, that's when the snare hits. And then after the snare hits, then the hi-hats come back in. Here I lay down a simple kick pattern. Now I'm going to be adding in a counter snare. I'm going to use the almond snare. Once again, from the one shots in the search bar. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be adding in an uh, open hat now for the drums. I'm going to use the Brampton kit, which, because I know it has a good open hat sound. So, yeah, I just renamed my instruments so it's easier to see for the video just to follow along. So I'm gonna go to B flat one and that's gonna be the open hat. I'm gonna adjust the volume. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the open hat on every on the first beat of every two measures. So what I'm gonna do here quickly is I'm just gonna take out the lower ends of this sample for the chorus. I'm going to do this by using the equalizer and then dragging down the lower frequencies. That way the 808 won't interfere with the sample. Okay, so here I pull up the 808 and I'm going to scroll up and find the TET 808, which is the best 808 if you're using the free account like me. So I know the key is in C minor, so I'm going to set the note to C. And then what I'm going to do is the 808 is going to be one and a half beats long. And then the second one is also going to be one half beats long. Then after that, I'm going to add a second, uh, a third note on the fourth beat of the first measure. So I'm just trying to find the third note for these chords so far. Okay, so I'm going to be back once I have the full 808 pattern. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna find a different hi-hat to use. I think I'm gonna use the vanilla hi-hat. Yeah, definitely better than the terminal kit. So, to add final touches, I'm gonna add a few more instruments to the melody. For example, I'm gonna add a piano. So yeah, I'm just gonna drag in notes to try and find something catchy that will go along with the sample. I'll be back once I have the sample finished. Okay, uh, I'm going to pitch it up by an octave, which is 12 semitones. And then I'm going to add some effects to it as well, like reverb. Um, in the effects, I usually go, I go with the church or the pitch play. Yeah, so I'm going to use the pitch play one, pitch play reverb. 
definitely sounds better now. And then I'm going to add one more instrument. So you're going to want to switch up trap flute. And then you're going to want to scroll down to find synth trap flute. And this is how you can use the flute instrument if you have a free account. Usually if you try to use the flute by just going through the menu, it won't let you because uh, if you have a free account like me, you have to have premium. So that's a little hack that I use to add flute melodies to my... So I just add some reverb to it, and once I arrange this beat, I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Here's what the final beat sounds like. Thanks guys for watching, make sure to share the video, subscribe, see ya.